Hi everyone, it's Diana Palm, The Love Witch. And The Love Witch is all about helping you to love yourself, love your life, raising love vibrations on earth. I know how to work with the love vibration and I help my clients get there by really truly doing their forgiveness work, by doing their energetic and spiritual release. And even when it comes to their ancestors, by releasing the binding patterns that they inherited. So important to know that there is an actual track record of why you are the way you are right now. And it's not only based on the way that you've been living your life. No, you inherited so much of this from your ancestors. I like to tell people, particularly when it comes to love and relationships, to look at the patterning of relationships that their mother and father had. Then look at both sets of grandparents. Now, if you don't know your grandparents, if you don't know your biological parents, this is going to be more an intuitive process for you, but you can still do the healing. You can still heal this energy within the cells of your body. But if you're trying to navigate this on your own, look at those relationships and see what kind of energy of love that they had. If you know anything about your great grandparents on both sides, look at that too. And you'll be able to see a patterning of relationships. You'll be able to see where the pattern of withdrawal from the partner comes in, the pattern of holding resentments, the pattern of holding back, the pattern of abandonment, the pattern of abuse, or perhaps you're one of the lucky ones and there was a true love story and a true love connection in your family. I actually come from both. My parents were married for 60 years all the way through and both sets of my grandparents also remained married. But when it came to the great grandparents, that generation on both sides had more difficulty. On one side, my great grandmother was married four different times and had a lot of heartache when it came to relationships. On the other side of my family, my great grandmother died in childbirth and her own children were put into an orphanage. So that's where a lot of the genetic imprinting comes in when you're healing with childhood issues, trust and love in relationships, knowing how to trust a partner and all of these kind of energetic components that create ease and flow within relationships. So if you don't identify with difficult relationship patterns and you're wondering why you can't find stable, lasting love, look to your ancestors on both sides and continue to go up the ladder until you find where that energy broke, where the energy of love was fractured, where it became distorted, because this is where you will actually do your healing within the cells of your own body. Yes, you can heal the energy of your great grandma right inside your body. You can heal their issues of being betrayed or abandoned. You can heal all of that energy right here. And I teach you how in my guide, Genetic Ghosts. Make sure you check that out down below this video. It's only $27 and I'm gonna lead you through the intuitive and spiritual healing technique to help you tune in with and heal your own genetic ghosts. This process will set you free. This process will help you get back into your own energy so that you're not living and reliving the lifetimes that your ancestors did. It will free you from the patterning that you inherited from them. Now, fortunately, I also had a great grandparent that literally died of a broken heart. When his wife died, his heart blew up. I knew that out of four sets of those great grandparents, one of them had deep, true, and lasting love. And I derived some of that from him. So yes, I've had my own heartbreaks and yes, I've had my own betrayals and abandonments and worked through those issues and multiple marriages. But part of me has always had a piece of my great grandpa with deep, true, lasting love. And that part of me is a part I'm most proud of because that part of me allows me to truly love within relationships and the ability to give my whole heart to my partner. So I want you to look at your genetic family line. I want you to think about not just did they stay married, but what was the energy dynamic in their relationships? Follow your family tree. And if you are adopted, if you don't know your genetic family line, it's still okay. You will know this by the way that you have been experiencing relationships. You may have thought something was wrong with you. You may have thought, what is my problem? Why can't I be happy in relationship? Why does this pattern keep emerging? And you know what? You may have inherited it. 
So if this is you, you'll still follow along with the guide by tuning in to the cells in your body and calling forth any of the emotional experiences that you've had that caused a lot of heartbreak within your relationships. And it doesn't matter if you're identifying with that within your grandma, your great grandma, your grandpa. We carry more than seven generations back of our ancestors' memories right inside our body. And this is why you can heal them right within your body. You don't have to seek permission from them. You can tune in and heal the issues that created a family chain of events that were not happy, that were not healthy, that were not thriving. This can relate to poverty. This can relate to depression. This can relate to many forms of physical illness. Many times those emotional wounds and traumas way back in our genetic family line caused a chink in our DNA where suddenly a health problem occurred and now it's become genetic. Get my guide, tune in with your family line and begin to heal your own genetic ghosts. Of course, I'm also available to work with you one-on-one -on -one in private sessions. I have a beautiful spiritual healing program that really helps us work deeply with your DNA and genetic ghosts that really helps you clear out your dark ancestral lineage so you can be free and you can be happy. Be sure you check that out at www.dianapalm.com. If you have identified where the energy of love has gotten off track within your genetic family, be sure you leave that down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give me a like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. I can't wait to see you in the next episode.